beyond the gate. Rock Manor 2024. Jump into the present. Anything? Nothing. Not that I can see. I'm telling you, this door's a waste of time. Whatever's back there, it's important enough that she's put it behind this thing. I think the only way in is to solve it. There's an empty slot, so there must be a missing piece that fits here. Ooh, his pup goes a weasel. Okay, let's say we all go hunting around this place for the missing cylinder tumbler thing. Even if we manage to find it, how do we solve the rest of it? Maybe there's something else in the atrium that's like a clue. Why would anyone put a clue for their massively complicated lock right out in the open? Practically right in front of it. Just a guess, but why not try this? Mm. Good guess. Well, I wasn't actually expecting that to work. <laughs> Almost like you knew. Search the top floor. Mm-hmm. They say about keys. Find a place to use key. Gotta be a lock nearby. Mm. No one says that, Maddie. Shh. Long Island Auction House in Boy Suckers. That's a lot of dollar for an old movie. Twelve grand. Damn. Augustine has paid large sums for the eight millimeter films, apart from Linda. Movie review. Murder Mill reviewed at the second Indian Dish Desires Fan Festival by your correspondent, Rabbit Hound. At first glance, the only real issue with Murder Mill is its unskillful composition, the cinematic equivalent of your sister's kids putting on a play for the family before Thanksgiving dinner. The film sadly begins to dissolve into a vehicle for the filmmakers to not scare its audience, but instead shows us how many other better films they have seen. The thing is, these aspects are not unusual in the genre and have more or less become par for the course on the festival circuits. What was unusual, however, was the oddly unsettling feeling the blanketed 10 p.m. audience from the first frame. And I honestly cannot explain why. <laughs> All sense of dread that evening was palpable and unlike anything I had experienced before or am keen to experience again. The screening was mercifully cut short though as two festival goers began to assault nearby audience members before turning on one another. Ooh. I'm not sure if this is a trick or gimmick. Interesting. Murder Mill exerts a violent effect on those who watch it. The Legion. Nice. <clears throat> I think this game's still too dark. Uh...
Something this weird has to be important. Does it open? Oh. Missing piece. She's looking down there. Sounded like it did something. A TV room, monitor uh -oh. room. Oh, it's like every room in the house. Yeah, I'd say this goes a little beyond your typical security. Oh, what do you mm -hmm. mean? I get the sense our host just has a lot of valuable property and likes to be keenly aware of everyone's comings and goings. Looks like the internal workings of a washing machine. But somehow I doubt it is. Uh oh. Okay, where else now? Where do we go? Boxes. You guys are following me around. What the hell? Only one of them isn't on. Wonder what Augustine's got in there. Stairs. As they follow me. <laughs> Wait, what other thing is that? The McMillan house? <laughs> I already read this. Downstairs. Nice. <laughs> You're coming with me, buddy. It's from the statue of that little dude. Yeah, the Billy sound effect. That's cute. Hmm. One hillbilly and his hammer reunited. Nice. Ooh, play okay. for food. Time to unlock that gate.
What prize lies behind the mystery door? Do I even want to know? Maybe it's a pattern, but I can't make heads or tails of it. Or heads and heads, and heads. Okay, so the perks that line up with the killer. Let's see what's over here. Tris. Wraith. Okay, it's the map, I think. Alright. There's yep. some Billy's map. <laughs> that was not so bad. Hoping for some insight into how Augustine's mind works. I think you got your wish. Uh, hooray. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. Let's take a look around. Be Dude, careful. this this freaking mansion is crazy. Ooh, explore. This whole place is like a film set. Capable of bestowing supernatural power in exchange for the devotion, protecting them and destroying their enemies. Statue from a god vampire. Which was a myth mythological demon worshippers believe it is capable of bestowing. Mmm. It's like a museum <gasps> for. It's just for god like destructive forces. Something unearthly for sure. Hey, Linda, check this out. Ooh, got another one. She told me they must die, that it must be violent to open gates. Station. Getting back to the settlement would be an easy task a few hours ago, but the sh starlight was now suffocated, strangled by storm clouds. Beatrice would or could neither see nor hear whether she'd been followed, nor with the air so full of driving rain, as well as the crackling, cackling of crows cutting across each other quickly enough to sound like mocking laughter. Their cacophony never seemed to fade no matter how much distance she put between herself and the stage at least she couldn't hear the squelching the slithering screaming yet still she pushed on through into the roaring darkness there was no way she could stop and not now not when she had no clue where that thing might be the thing that stamper had called conjured created nor when the memory of it rising from the sludge and ripping ron apart was still burning bright in her mind Something smashed against her shoulder, sending her spinning, tumbling backward into stone, and sliding down into shallow salt water. With a noisy splash, she landed with a painful cry. The sharp metallic taste of blood filled her mouth, and she released an awful scream as her nerves began to burn. She tried to force herself back up, only for her bad ankle to buckle. She dropped down from a scream of pain. Beatrice, Beatrice reached for her rocks for support, tried to find purchase, but her grasping fingers met only what felt like sinew and spines and sludge. For all the tears began to fill her eyes and she could just about see the 
Drawnies from a uh, form looming over her, still dripping with the mud. It was born from an agora of her friends. The clouds closed above. The rain began to drum once more. A knotted appendage in the monster's loathsome form caught the distance, dying half light as its body moved to strike. Ooh, that's a dredge. Wait, hold on a second. Fictional book in this world. Wait, hold on. Is that the dredge? Or the entity? Or a spider? Interesting. Looks like the dredge. These mean anything to you? Yeah, actually. It's exactly like in my film, The Prophecy of Pain. You know, right after they open the tomb? Oh, yeah, totally. It, it is exactly like that. <laughs> there is no tomb in The Prophecy of Pain. Oh, uh... Yeah, sorry. I, I was getting into this stuff with, with, the, with one of the Come other... Come to think I... of it, I don't think there are any tombs in any of my movies. Never been into ancient curses and all that kind of fantasy stuff. But you know that, right? Since you're such a big fan of my work. Okay, look. You haven't seen a single one of my films, have you? I am a fan of your reputation. <laughs> sure. Honestly, just when it comes to movies, I'm more of a... <sighs> kind of guy. Crowd pleaser, is it? Cliff Barra. My films examine the persistence of evil in the heart of humanity. I'm sorry they're not crowd pleasing enough for you. But now that you've shown your hand, why don't you tell me how you actually came into possession of the film? Mm. Well, if that's what you want to know, I'm afraid I am going to need something in exchange. <sighs> Major, I can offer you for it, my friendship. Mischievous. Why don't we make it interesting? How so? A little wager. Terms? If I win, <laughs> you tell me what I want to know. And if I win? I'll... I'll give you my section of the film. Oh? Deal. That's official. You can't take that back. Jesus, hot sauce. We're not 12. Flip for it? Sure. But I get to call it. <sighs> I call it or no deal. All right. Heads. What's it gonna be? Heads. Heads. Well, <laughs> that oh. was the brakes. <laughs> oh no. <clears throat> I believe we had a deal. <laughs> Wait. No, no. Nice. Got him. Nice. Slick. Hey, worth a try, right? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> yep. Worth every penny. It's pretty sly. I am uh, speaking from the Tradewinds Movie Theater on Texas Avenue, where we have witnessed are witnessing some sort of protest, or I don't know. Uh, all, all I am able to report at this point is there have been several attacks on the general public, as well as police and medical personnel. It's not overly clear, at least to us, what the uh, catalyst for, for the situation was, but I can confirm that it started in the cinema itself. As it has been reported, an employee was stomped to death during a showing of Murder Mill. Uh, from here, from here, I can see considerable damage done all around us, and police are currently doing their best to control this crowd. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no. Okay, now, now there is an arrest taking place, and several people are moving in, storming the officers at every side. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Okay, okay, that was. Damn. 
crazy. Oh, Frank Stone's mask. That's cool. Is that dried blood? Oh. Well, that's cheery. Ooh, the Huntress. camera no there's no way it can't be hey linda she knows who's it is who's, really she's connecting the see. dots now unless she already knew what is this it was just displayed here open to this page talismans contain wells of great power can take many physical forms Often manifest as keepsakes of past victims. Victims? Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. What do you think it means? I don't know. But it must be important to Augustine if it was left open on this page. Maybe it's... Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, it's a sheriff. place cedar steel mill 1980 I think we should go retrieve the rest of the crew it's like he doesn't even question anything they tell him anymore I mean he, he's a smart kid but parents can be wrong he's got to get that through his smiley little skull Bonnie he can't just be a little mama's boy forever Bonnie huh it's getting really cold maybe we should you know get the others head out oh cold yeah I got something for that Pocket warmer. Yeah. Okay, sure. Thanks. <sighs> Oops. I guess I got colder than I thought when I was following you guys all the way out here. Huh. I know my limits. I've had to stay right up against them just to get through the past couple weeks at home. It can't be all bad to spend more time with your family. <laughs> Spoken like a true person who's not spent enough time with my family. I've spent a lot of time with Jaime. <sighs> Jaime's... Oh, he can be alright. He just needs to grow up. You've 
gotta convince him to leave Cedar Hills when he graduates. He could come to New York, anywhere. He just can't stay here. I don't know if Jaime's ever even imagined himself anywhere else. He doesn't think that far ahead. Well, even if he hasn't, you've got to. What, leave? Yeah. I mean, unless there's some secret, unrequited reason why you might want to stick around. And how's that any of your business, Bonnie Rivera? <laughs> Look, if there's one single thing a small town like this has to offer, it's freshly squeezed gossip. Why do you hate Cedar Hill so much? You used to be like town mascot. Oh, that was when I thought the world began on Main Street, circled all the way around the earth, and ended right back on Main Street. Once I moved he to New likes York, her. I realized Sends the a little bit of lovey doveyness starts on Canal Street. Bounces back and forth between Avenue C and West Side Highway and ends on 14th Street. Cedar Hills ain't even in the picture. How's it going with your band? I really want to see you play some shows. Oh, done so. Broke down. Kaput. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. Bands, you know. I started a band to get girls, but I made the grave error of dating a girl in my own band. Mm. Oh. She was cool. But once she found out my trip back home was definite, she and the band pretty much moved on without me. You deserve better than that. Yeah, I think so too. Maybe we should go find everybody else. Are you sure? I was just starting to warm up. Yeah, I'm sure. Party pooper. Boo. Second, my mom comes home. It's lickety splits for this chica. Lickety splits, scrams, wham, bams, and thank you, mans. I'm still not sure. I... I'm leaving Cedar Hills. Oh yeah, this We're is good. some oh. bad stuff just happened to these guys too. Say I blame you. Back to the city? Mm, where else am I gonna go? Well, there are other cities, you know. Nah, just the one. What are you gonna do there? Mm, same thing I always do. Make shit up, fuck shit up. Maybe make some movies. Oh, yeah? Mm, yeah, looks fun. Can be, yeah. Back there! We, we were getting a shot of the... Ahead, and the jar and, and Chris saw something that was only in the camera, but she freaked and then there was this crazy sound and the, the, the door was like pulling her and oh my god, buddy, what the fuck just happened? Oh my god. Whoa, whoa there, buddy. It's okay. We're here. It's okay. No, no, it's not okay. We gotta get out of this place. We gotta get out of here right now. We gotta go. Jaime, slow down. We found it. We found his like secret hideout. Whose hideout? Frank's don't. No one ever found it before. You sure? Robert went to get his dad. Where's Chris? The door it, 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 it pulled her. And she's gone. Chris is gone. Shh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm gonna go check it out. You should get him some air. Outside. What if we could play like a role inside the DVD match in this game? That'd be so cool. There's no way though. Didn't Chris leave though? I thought he went to go get his dad or something. Where are you, Chris? Oh, I already found this earlier. <laughs> The clown. Her, her. Just get up here again.
Oh, shit. Oh, that's why we had to use this, because there's a hole in the stairs. Ah, okay. The crows. There we go. What is going on? <laughs> what is this? Oh. Oh, I can go through items now? Yeah, that's wild. What the hell? I'm supposed to be going this way, right? The game just kind of like broke on me. And then some creaky sounds. What the heck, dude? What is going on? Oh, I can't go through the railing. Oh. Let's try it one more time. This time I'm not gonna try running. I'm just gonna press it. I'm just gonna go up to him and press J, J to jump. Wait, does this ladder go down? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to go up here. Oh, uh, okay. I'll make it a lot easier if I fall. How? How much should I pay for this game? Yeah, it's not possible. I'm not going the right way. There's no way. Or this game is bugged. Oh, yeah, I wasn't going the right way, was I? Nah, I wasn't. Damn. Well, I found something interesting along the way. Okay. What'll you be able to tell us? Bonnie must be waiting outside. A 
I should go back and find the others. Okay, but not okay. I think there was something with them that gave him that cut on his head. Something? Like what? Uh, apparently only Chris saw it through the camera. Come on, let's go, let's go! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, hell no. Hell no, yeah, run. Generator. Dude, that'd be a creepy killer, not gonna lie.
it's gone. I need to get to the others. Dude, that killer would be so cool in Dead by Daylight. Mystery Manor. Miss Castle. Thanks for kicking me in the knee. It's been a long time, hasn't it? 20 years at least. I don't keep track of years anymore. Seems to be working out for you. Pretty spry for an old man. I'm sorry, but we have to spare the pleasantries. There's almost no time at all. We need to talk. Uh, excuse me, just who are you exactly? Yeah, why'd you come and swing if you just want to talk? You keep your lying mouth shut and mind your own business. Sam, do I have to mind my own business too, or are you just talking to Stan's lying mouth? Maddie, this is Sam Green, Sheriff of Cedar Hills. Don't think you got much jurisdiction here, Pops. Or I'm a sheriff. Why are you here? You know damn well why I'm here. Well, I must have forgotten. Oh, <laughs> well, isn't that nice for you? Because I just can't seem to stop cleaning up after your little problem child. Wait, are you talking about the film? Is he talking about the film? Oh, there was a bad move coming here, Linda. That cursed thing should have stayed forgotten. Well, it's gonna spell the end of this world. Maybe even every other. Oh, give me a break. Sam, you really think it's actually cursed? That's not real. How can you even say that after what happened? After what happened? You really don't remember. All of this is because of what happened back in Cedar Hills. What's happening then, right now? Don't you understand what I'm saying? I... No. I'm sorry. <sighs> Just tell me you still have your piece of the film. Yeah, I still have it. And them? We've all got our pieces. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> and at least I'm not too late. <laughs> but Augustine has made us all an offer. And you turned her down. Right? We haven't committed to anything yet. <sighs> okay. Okay, <laughs> then we can work with this. Now, if we play our cards right, we might still have a chance to fix it. <laughs> Linda, what is this guy talking about? The film strip you're carrying pieces of all around with you. It's part of a movie Linda made with her friends. With my son. But it's not just a film. It's... It's a prison. Something far older. Something more powerful than anything humanity's ever conceived. It's, it's pure malignant corruption, and its hunger is unbounding. Oh, okay, Sam. <laughs> Laying it on a bit thick, aren't you? That's pretty rich coming from you, Mr. Stanford. Population control. Hold on. You guys know each other? Uh. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have been on the receiving end of the former sheriff's outlandish claims and dramatic interjections for quite some time now. <laughs> Dude is a walking mess. Uh, I got a hand or two. You are looking better than the last time I saw you, yeah? Who's your guy? Did this charlatan tell you how he manipulated my son and stole his piece of the film when Robert was in a very vulnerable place in his life mm. 
I do my business on the level. I'm not out there sneaking around in the dark like some grubby little crook. <sighs> Fuck this. I'm done with your shit, man. Mm. Uh, should we go after him? Why don't you go keep an eye on Stan? I'll stay here. All that stuff he was saying, is he for real? I don't know. But I don't think anybody should be wandering off alone right now. True that. Was this locked before? Hey! Hey, hold up a sec! Stan! Where'd he go? You just Why disappeared. It's getting creepy. Stan, you want a bathroom break or something? Or oh, the same room? What the hell? Yo, it's like the, uh, oh, the 13 ghosts, dude. The same shit. Yo. What the heck is this place? The 13 ghosts, man. Go to the console shut down. Dude, literally, this is the 13 ghosts. Oh, puzzle. Something from a sci fi flick. What are you planning, Augustine?
Is there like a clue? If I run into it, I can't. <laughs> they always knew every super rich asshole had a room like this in their house. Okay, so middle, the bottom, top grid. Oh. Okay, that made something happen. That's good. Seriously, help me! Please, somebody! 
Wait, is that a girl? She's trapped in the comp castle? She's still young? No way, that's her. Okay, we're cooking now. Two more of those ring thingies to go. to a good old-fashioned on-off switch. Okay, one more to go. Ah, if you do the thing that he did in the 13 Ghosts, you don't have to do this. You just jump in there. Get him. Dude, they totally took this from 13 Ghosts. That's hilarious. So obvious. Shit's getting real. Oh shit, she is back. That's crazy. Cedar Hills. Meanwhile, in Cedar Hills. Did that was that a typo? Cedar Hills. Cedar Hills. Huh. They fucked that one up big time. Are you all right? Whoa. Oh, it's that What's lady. Wrong, young man? Oh no. Uh. Nothing, I, uh... Abigail, whatever her name is. Let me help you. I I'm fine. It's nothing. But you look as if something's... I'm just looking for my dad. Uh, the sheriff? The sheriff? Yeah. Have you seen him? Oh, wow. Well, uh, yes. Uh, where? Uh, here and there, now and then. He does have a way of showing up in the strangest of places. Wait, how long ago was he here? Just just now, or what? Uh, it was more than a minute. Less than a life tell him. <laughs> sure. Okay, this lady being out here this late? Uh, that's all mine. very suspicious. I'll be sure to tell him you're looking for him. Mm-hmm. Oh. Does she have him? Mystery Manor continued. Pretty sure they came down this way. I uh, wouldn't be sure of anything in this place. How did she get you here, Linda? What did she offer you?
Sorry, Sheriff. I think you still owe me some answers. <laughs> and how's that? You're acting like a lunatic. Sneaking around? Attacking people? That's not the Sam Green I know. People change. Over time. The only time I ever saw you even close to this intense was when you caught Chris and Jaime and me at the mill. Ah, uh, yeah. I thought I was being too hard on you at the time. But knowing what I know now, I'm glad I broke your camera. But you never broke our camera. <laughs> well, of course I... You're not okay, are you? I'm getting old. Memory's not what it used to be. Hmm. What did you mean when you said all of this is because of Cedar Hills? I said it's because of what happened in Cedar Hills. And what's still happening right now. What's happening right now? What happened back... Kids making Super 8 movies? In the mill? The mill's been gone for years. I told you, I don't count years anymore. <gasps> what is it? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Oh, no. Finally. Uh, uh, find him all in. Gotta find him before his, his skies are folding in again. And it's, uh, uh... Bro's had like a heart attack or something. Did you just die? Seem okay. We gotta find Augustine now. I think you should take a minute. I'll be fine. Now, are you gonna help me find Augustine, or are you just gonna get in my way? Since I looked at your journal, support. I think I knew something was wrong before I got here. Yes, I just wanted to see it for myself. I'll help you, Sam. Whatever Augustine's up to, I don't think it's good. All right. Oh, shit. Sam? Sam? It's like this house is like shifting. Sam? Hello? This is certainly something. There's a whole other alternate version of Burden Mill. Theater carnage blamed on sick flick. A, a screening of the film Murder Mill. Wait, this screening never happened. What is this? It's like watching the ring video. People go crazy. Bonnie didn't act in this scene. It was Chris. This isn't right. <sighs> okay, that is not what we shot. Mm. Thank you. 
relax. What are you doing? That letter's private. It's got nothing to do with you. Who is Logan Chen? Linda. Don't you fucking lie to me. Mm. When I stopped Frank Stone in the still mill, back in 1963, I thought that'd be the end of it. But ever since, not a thing in my world has made sense. In any other, either. Everything, all of this, leads back to that night. And sure, I stopped him. But in the process, I caught a glimpse of the bigger picture. The stone was just a piece of something much worse. I couldn't shake the feeling that all I had done was delay the inevitable. Like he was a killer in training for the trials. Significant reflection of what actually happened. And it started to drive me crazy. Eventually, that led me to Logan Chen and the Imperiati. And they helped me to understand what I'd seen and what I could do about it. What I'd have to leave behind. You do know that you sound like a raving fucking lunatic, don't you? I take no pleasure in any of this. There's no reward for me when I've done what I've got to do. There's no gratitude, no gold watch. It's just sort of a higher calling. God, you're so full of it. I'm not a kid anymore. And you're not the sheriff. You don't get to play high and mighty with me. Linda. No, you won't be straight with me. Fine. But I'm not an idiot. I know how misdirection works. I can see what you're trying to hide. Did you think I wouldn't notice the second you walked in here? You should be at least 80 years old, but you're barely older than me. Mm. How does that make any sense? In fact, none of the dates in your fucked up journal line up. I'd say it's pure lunacy, except... Here you are. The wrong age. So what are you implying? Mm. I'm saying you might be Sam Green. But you're not the Sam Green I knew in Cedar Hills. You're someone else. Aren't you? Whoa. What in the world of a mindfuck is this? For every path taken, there exists another. Taken by a shadow self. Another reality. Another world. Worlds so close, they bleed together. Do you see? The timelines I chose were special. The bleed strong. The entity straining against the edges of our world. I didn't need Frank Stone's mortal vessel after all. I only needed the most perfect versions of his essence. Trapped on celluloid, projected at 24 frames a second. Frank Stone will be Back to the others. Where is everyone?
If I fix these boilers, that should shut off the leak. Gotta be around here someplace. Those steam jets are gonna burn my face off. But that's my only way out. One to go. <sighs> Surely there's a... Always need one of these. Charlie Frank Nor Franklin Norman, it's up to see what we do. Whoever's that. locker this was had some serious issues. Was that Frank Stone's real name? Mmm. Abuse.
You're coming with me, buddy. Can't waste time. Not with that monster out there. Oh, the dog. If I ever get out of this maze, I'm going to take Bonnie's advice and leave Cedar Hills. See New York. Fall in love. Fall out of love. Just live a little. <sighs> I hate tight spaces. I could barely breathe. Oh shit. Oh my god, this this place is so fucked. Wait, is that is that the is that Dwight? Alan Parker write this as my last will and testament. Wait, hold on a second, hold on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, his name's Fairfield. Yeah, Fairfield. Hold on. Parker Owen. So everybody saw me was 63. It's spent the afternoon drinking with Rusty, Daryl, and a few other guys. Cedar Creek, by the time it started getting dark, I was pretty wasted. And Rusty tried to get me to move my butt. I got kind of mad and shoved him. Which was dumb. Brother, have I paid for it? Rusty got mad and left. So did the other guys. Guess the figure. I sleep it off and find my own way home. I don't know how long I was asleep for, but when I woke up, this guy was there. A big, tall guy. It was real dark, but I could see him starting at me, staring at me cold, mean eyes looking right through me. Oh, I th mother think I'm underground. This is. A few times this demo staring at me. Of course, I'm not mad at him. It was my fault. I was acting like a jackass. Same as you always. Just know I'm sorry for everything. I love you. Dwight A. Parker. The doctor. What the hell are these things? Nice.
Breaks down. Fuck. This is Frank Stone's journal. I did as instructed, but for weeks I have not left alone. Have I failed? Did I do? Did I not perform it purpose? As I was told, find names I would. I have taken by I feel no closer to the path. I dream of the forest of the darkness over me. I am afraid, too scared to move toward or cry out because it stands beyond the font. Sometimes I can see the, their shapeless forms writing in the writhing in the flames like snakes. The hiss of their screams burn my ears if they are about to scream. How am I to know evil alone? How can I be sure of all the serials has not been lost to sin? Should I just not just destroy them all, purge the town completely? I will not act without instruction. I stand alone in the forest, waiting to reach the other side. If I cry out, I will be lost. <sighs> Finally, she has come back to me, and she is happy. I, I have well exceeded her expectation. She says she found the root of evil, the source of the rot that has eaten all the town. I sit beneath its very foundations. Howard Tester is the leader of a wicked coven. From him, do the branches of evil stretch out and infect everything, but he is beyond my righteous judgment. Although he rots in a pit of hell, his spawn still lingers here. DP, BK, LR, JR. Four names, four more trials that I must conquer. She tells me to not rush. I cannot make a mistake. I will not fail. I will use the very fires that test her birth to carry out my task. I will turn discretion into the thing that destroys this legacy. I will purify it as I will this town. Man and beast, metal and flesh bound by fire then I will reach the other side and see what it is to be the eternal to be divine I know what it is to be leave through the forest the path is clear and the fire awaits me I will not be afraid damn dude that's some dark shit oh back where I started okay then the house of madness oh this is gonna be interesting dude she time traveled holy shit 44 years my mom what is this it's okay it's okay you're not bonnie no i um bonnie was my mom did you know her y yeah i mean she's my boyfriend's sister boyfriend hi may we, we were just getting a shot, and he was... We were... <gasps> oh, God! Jaime! Did he get away? Please tell me he got away! I mean, my uncle, Jaime. Uncle? Why? I don't know! Stan! You don't want to be here. 
Trust me. You came here in this? I, I think so. Do you think it can also take you back? If there's any chance that's true, I, I gotta try. My friends are in terrible danger. I, I gotta get back to them, wherever they are. I'll help you. Why don't you climb back into the uh, chamber, whatever it is? I'll see if I can figure out these controls. I'll keep an eye out for any uh, interruptions. <laughs> Okay, uh, is there a switch on that thing? Yeah, I see it. Okay, you should flip it. Ah, uh, 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 cranks! Uh, try using that pole thing. <laughs> We're still helpful. I already helped you use the scarp of scar sarcophagus. must cross. She's back! Back to the pass. That's wild. Robert. What? Is uh Is anybody there? Please say no. I wasn't even here, man. It, it took me to like some other place and, and like there were these crazy machines and, and lights, but I don't think it was anywhere in the middle at all. Uh, you what? I know it sounds insane, but there was a girl there. She said Bonnie was her mom, man. You're not making any sense. Chris? Oh, thank God. I thought you were... I thought... I don't know what the hell I thought, but you were like, gone, man. Yeah, you can say that again. It's good to see you, too. Hey, maybe we should all, like, shuffle off the buffalo?
Great. Let's get the fuck out of here. How do we get the fuck out of here? <laughs> There's the storm drain. We could get us out. If we're lucky, we might be able to find a way in from this chamber. <sighs> it's coming. 